Welcome to this new lecture about goal condition reinforcement learning. This is the first of a series of small videos to cover the topic. So first, the starting point will be standard reinforcement learning. As probably you have understood from watching other videos or reading more about reinforcement learning, the standard reinforcement learning framework addresses the case where an agent faces a single task which is only specified through a reward function. Okay, That's the standard case where the agent performs actions and receives from the environment states and rewards, and it has to maximize the reward, uh, which corresponds to achieving some goals that the designer has in mind. And in fact, the context corresponds to what Sutton and Barto call the reward hypothesis that they state that follows. All what we mean by goals and purposes can be well thought of as the maximization of the expected value of the cumulative sum of a received scalar signal called the reward. Okay, So they mean that any goal or purpose can be represented by a reward. But we will see immediately that this framework in fact is limited and that the goal condition reinforcement learning framework will remove, remove some of the limitations to account for the richer context. So let's start with an example corresponding to Atari games. As you probably know, in Atari, the deep Q network algorithm learns a different policy for each game. Okay, It faces 57 games, and for each of these games, it learns a single policy. And it learns these policies separately. However, an agent might leverage the fact that there can be some common structure in different games. Okay, A single agent trying to learn from all the games at the same time, or uh, sequentially, may um, benefit from having learned uh, on a game when learning a different game. Okay, That's called transfer learning, and transfer learning may accelerate the whole process. Okay, And to account for transfer, we need to generalize over the different tasks or the different games. So we need to represent these different tasks or games, or even those different goals. Okay, And different games can be modeled at different contexts or different goals. Okay, So by representing the goal, a single agent may be able to play different games by using different goals and to leverage the common structure of these different games into a common policy. That's the general idea of uh, goal condition reinforcement learning. To take another example, consider a humanoid. Okay, You may learn to perform this movement, for instance, or this one or another one. Okay, But it would be a good idea to have a single controller that would generate all the movements or skills that the humanoid should be able to display. Okay, So an agent should have explicit goals because if it only has one goal, it cannot learn to do different things with this single goal. Okay, So what's a goal? We take this uh, definition from Elot and Freyer, uh, which is a classical definition. They define a goal as a cognitive representation of a future object that the organism is committed to approach. And all the words are important. One is that this is about a future object. Okay, that's something that you want to achieve in the future. Okay, and you are committed to approach or eventually escape from that particular future object. Okay, so in these lessons, we will in particular consider an important class of such agents with, that we call autotelic agents. So autotelic comes from the Greek auto and telos. It means it sets its own goals. Okay, So autotelic agents, they have explicit goals and they set and learn to achieve their own goals. And you can find a nice survey of autotelic agents um, with the following reference. Beyond just having autotelic agents, we might even be interested in a richer context which is called open-ended learning. Okay, So the idea is illustrated here by the evolutionary pro um, progress of different robots. Okay, And the idea is the following. When an agent can address different goals, a new question emerges, which is, in which order should it learn to reach these goals? Okay, And this order is called the curriculum. So the objective of uh, autotelic agent endowed with a curriculum is to find the curriculum that will maximize 
the competence of the agent over the long run. So how can I learn to achieve as many goals as possible in some amount of time? Okay. And given a finite set of tasks, this uh, competence can be measured. But if you consider open-ended learning, there might be an infinite set of such competence to be learned, and it's more challenging to measure uh, how well an agent is doing. Okay. The idea is that the agent will face this ever-growing sequence of tasks or, or goals, and we are particularly interested in representing such agent because this corresponds to the kind of thing that uh, intelligent uh, living species are doing. And you can have a, you can have a look at this paper where we define open learning uh, more formally. Before going into the technical framework, a quick historical note to say that there is a precursor paper that was not spotted at, that, at the time of publication, which was from Leslie Kailblink, where she defined a policy trying to achieve a set of goals in a tabular setting. Okay. Then there was this work from Richard Sutton and colleagues, uh, which is called HORD, where the, the agent had a set of value functions uh, with one value function for each goal. Okay. And then uh, Scholl, in uh, 2015, defined universal value function approximators, which defines the standard framework about goal condition reinforcement learning, where in fact your policy and your uh, critic are conditioned on something additional, which is called a goal. Okay. This thing uh, can be learned with standard Q-learning in the case of Kelblink or actor critic uh, schemes in the case of the, those two. Okay. And finally, uh, there is a different line of uh, research that led to the same kind of ideas, which uh, corresponds to intrinsically motivated goal exploration processes. That's work from the group of Pierre Baudelier with uh, Sébastien Forestier, among others. Okay. And here the idea is that instead of using reinforcement learning in a single policy, uh, an agent was represented by a set of policies, and each policy was trying to achieve uh, its own goal. Now a look at what we will see during these lessons. So in the first series of about 10 lessons, we will see the basics. Okay. So first we will see the general framework of goal condition reinforcement learning with these components. We will define important notions such as behavioral achieved and desired goals. We will study what is transfer learning and catastrophic forgetting. Okay. Then we will uh, show that there are different perspectives about goal condition or enforcement learning. We will see that first there are set settings where this is the environment that which provides a goal, which is in contrast with autotelic agents with de who define their own goals. Okay. We will see the setter solver perspective. We will see also that there is unsupervised reinforcement learning perspective that corresponds to goal condition reinforcement learning. There is also the contextual reinforcement learning uh, perspective. And an important one is also the hierarchical reinforcement learning perspective, where in general, the low level policy is conditioned on a goal coming from a high level policy. Finally, we will have a look at the open-ended learning uh, settings. And once we have all these notions, we will um, go through different family of setters so first, skill discovery setters, which try to achieve as many, to learn as many skills as possible. Goal reaching setters, uh, sequential goal, goal setters, which correspond to hierarchical reinforcement learning. And we won't go into the details of those things because there will be someday a hierarchical reinforcement learning later, which will be separate from this one. Okay. And also, I will study among these different families image-based goal setters because this setting is more complicated. By doing this, along the way, we will also study uh, other basic concepts and core components, which are, for instance, insight experience replay, curriculum learning, goal representation learning, and we will uh, see throughout those lectures some key papers. And then I plan to have a second series of lectures that will come later. Uh, for advanced goal condition reinforcement learning for robotics. So in these lessons, I will come back to the why doing this and go to the idea that we should have agents that are both autotelic but also teachable agents from with which you can interact to tell them what to do. Okay. 
and this richer interaction will be easier to perform with what is called foundational models. So I will give an overview of foundational models in robotics, such as large language models, vision language models, or vision language action models. Okay. And using uh, foundational models uh, in goal condition reinforcement learning is an emerging field. So I will uh, show what exists in terms of using a large language model to set language goals and using the vision language model to set image goals. And finally, I will focus on end-to-end -end robot learning with goals and give an overview of the main papers. And that will be it for this series of lectures. Thank you for listening.